Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy Sports Gaming Network back at you again for a video feed. Today, we're going to be reacting to. Um, I put Stephen Curry in the WNBA. I have not. I've actually. This is my first NBA 2K21 next gen um, reaction. And I haven't made a lot of reaction in the last couple days, but I will be doing more because I have Friday off. I basically have Saturday evening, which I'm probably going to. Do some more Sunday. I'll probably be busy, but I'll try to do some football reactions there. Uh, but yeah, let's check this out. He's also, he also has face cam, so let's be cool. Here. For the first time in NBA 2K21 Next Gen, 2K gives you the option to create your own WNBA player. This is the first time you're able to do so in NBA 2K history, which is super cool. Only problem is you still can't actually add these players. To an NBA team or play them in the NBA my career That's okay gonna be the next step for 2k in upcoming years but with the addition of being able to create WNBA players highly suggested by you guys I wanted to put Stephanie Curry, Curry. To the WNBA they should just put I and they should just put like so Stephanie Curry's wife in there like Aisha Curry, Curry or maybe this or, or maybe Steph Curry's Curry, sister normal NBA player and just made them into a female character in the game we got all his attributes, all his tendencies, all his badges. I also got all of his signatures, and lastly, I got all of his hot zones as well. And I have Yo, where's the uh, mouth guard Steph there, bro? I mean, you gotta put the mouth guard for Steph Curry, bro. He chiseled like there's no tomorrow. In New York Liberty, because they're actually the worst team in the WWE. Oh hell no. Two and twenty last season, and I want to see if Stephanie Curry can actually turn their season around, their franchise around, and maybe help them win and. A WNBA championship. Now, starting off here, we're just using the normal rosters. So, Steph Curry actually isn't the highest rated player in the game. It's actually Elena Del Don. Uh, depending on how this goes, we might actually switch the rosters up so that the WNBA players' attributes kind of match up with how they would be compared to NBA players in real life. All right, so we hopped into my WNBA now, and let's just simulate through the season and see how good Steph Curry can do in the WNBA. Really short season, not nearly as long as an NBA season, but let's just simulate it. All right, we made it through the season. Brandon they start in March, bro? MVP, That's kind of so weird, not man. Be Steph. That's a little disappointing, but he does get Rookie of the Year. <laughs> that actually looks nothing like Steph Curry. I tried to make it as I tried to make it look as much like Steph Curry as possible with longer hair, and it, it just did not work out at all. But look at well, yeah. Steph, what do you think? It's a girl, not a boy. Five point four rebounds, five point three assists. Hey, he shot 46% from three, but all in all, nothing too crazy for him there. He's actually not even going to be, he's actually not even the best player in the league. He does make the all WNBA first team. Uh, okay, that's good. Wait, where's Sabrina? Team, I thought I saw I Sabrina. Like in real life, he'd be on the defense. Whoa. Team. New York Liberty. Those playoffs look weird. In the playoffs. And checking out the league leader, Steph is going to get fourth in the league for points per game. Rebounds, he was 32nd, which is a lot higher than he normally would be. Assists, he was 4th as well. And he was also 4th for 3-point percentage. So all in all, not dominant at all for Stephen Curry in the WNBA. Uh, so we'll actually switch up the rosters and make it a little more realistic. Let's just simulate the playoffs here, though, and find out what happens. So New York Liberty... How far did they even get? They ended up getting it to the third round, lost Rio to the Sparks, and then they. Okay, Rio isn't so bad, especially for a sixth seed. The actual WNBA I mean, you beat the third seed, so like that's kind of right, pretty good. That's kind of pretty good. And I fixed up all the rosters, so they're a little more realistic. The top WNBA player is now a 71 overall. Stephen Curry is going to keep all of his attributes and everything like that. But it's more realistic in terms of comparing WNBA to NBA players. So Stephen Curry now should be by far the best player in the league. Uh, I put down a lot of things. Wait, like, why don't you? Uh, why do they put, put all of uh, the girls like rebounding. to a seventy, uh, a bro? Like I don't that. get that, uh, bro. That's kind of unfair. Their IQ, their pass vision, all of that's going to be the exact same because obviously that doesn't make a difference when facing off against NBA players. So I simulated a games just to see how good he would do in the first few games game number one they win by so much they win 99 to 53 stephanie curry gonna drop 39 points 61 rebounds oh my goodness 
a crazy stat line right there. It looks like he's actually going to get a lot of rebounds during the season, which is kind of funny because normally Curry would not get too many. Second game, they win 122 to 55. Curry again dropping over 30 points, 31 points, 59 rebounds, and 5 assists. He's not scoring as many points as I thought he would, but I mean, I guess that's just the way this works. And then this game, 30 and 52. Uh, getting over 30 points in the WNBA is very impressive. It does not happen very often. Let's simulate the rest of the season and see how he ends. And of course, Stephanie Curry going to get MVP with 30 points per game. 54 rebounds and 5.9 assists and in terms of how good 30.8 points per game the most points per game in WNBA history was actually 21 there's only three players 21 points per game in the WNBA I mean I get that like the dumb the, 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 the WNBA is like a lot like the, sorry the WNBA is like a lot less competitive like it's more like a less competitive NBA well, with a lot of girls. I'm not saying that they're not competitive. They're pretty good. They play pretty nicely. Uh, they don't play like children. Uh, and it's pretty entertaining. Um, I, I, I'm sorry I said that. Um, but yeah, uh, but it's like a much more like less competitive than the NBA because the NBA is like really competitive. For average over 10, so 54 is just unbelievable. He also is going to get Rookie of the Year. Of course, this was his first year in the WNBA. And he also gets a Defensive Player of the Year. 1.1 steals, only 0.2 blocks. So really not that impressive defensively. And Coach of the Year is going to go to Walt Hopkins, who is the coach of the New York Liberty, because they went a perfect 36-0. So Steph Curry's picture is going to be messed up when we're looking what at What the them. hell? He actually had to use another player and just replace all their attributes with Steph's. So that's why... The picture is not of the one we created earlier. Of course, the Liberty are going to get the first seed, and I, I want to check out these stats. I want to see how the rest of the league did. Stats and standing, season stats, league leaders. Okay, so for points per game, Stephen Curry was by far the best, almost double the next best player. I was hoping he'd actually score a little bit more than that. Uh, but as you can see, nobody else getting over 20. Bro, he's making game. zero Steph dollars, too. And then for rebounds, it was a little glitched out. So the, a few of the better rebounders actually did quite a bit better. I mean, you have Asia Wilson with 41 rebounds. Sylvia Fowles with 22. 6'6 six, six is a center height, bro? Like, the, the 10 to 20 like that's a little short. 6'3 center? Rebounds, but Steph's still doing way okay. Than anybody else. For assists, he was the best assister in the league. He had the third most steals, so not number one for steals. His blocks obviously aren't even close to being up there with only 0 0.2. He had the best field goal percentage, only player in the league shooting over 50%. And then finally, three-point percentage. He was the third best player. Two players Fifth? actually shooting Whoa, him. 50% for the second player? Damn, that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty close to Stephen Curry. That's actually pretty close to Stephen Curry. NBA record here. So I'll switch over to season. So total points, as you can see, Steph Curry with the new record there, 1,100 points this season. Quite a bit higher than anybody else in WNBA history. Field goals made, he's up top. Three-pointers made, he's at the top. Free throws made, he is going to be fifth all time. Rebounds, he's going to be number one by far. Every rebound record is now, every rebound record is now the 2021 ones now. There's a little glitched out on the rebounds. That usually happens when we do these WNBA simulations. And that's it he's going to get up there for. I want to see what his highs were for a single game. So he's not able to beat the point record in a single game. 49 points. That's depressing. And 48 points. So he's going to get two top five points for games with the record. Okay, but that's David still not bad, bro. Like two top five? Pretty nice, second. but he didn't beat that Pointers when he was like a demigod in the four. WNBA. I thought, if anything, this would have been the record that he was able to beat. Rebounds, he set every single record. He's top five for this. So breaking almost every WNBA record in his first season here. Uh, let's simulate the round, see who they're going to face off against in the conference finals, I, I guess that would be called. 
They're going to be facing off against Chicago something. I honestly don't know the name of the team. They, uh, they have to. The they can't choke. All right. A pretty easy victory, and it is. It's a 3-0 sweep. In sweep. In the NBA Finals facing off against the Aces. It's got to be a Game sweep, bro. Game number one goes to the Liberty. Game number two goes to the Liberty. And I believe it's a best of three here. And, yeah, it is just a best of three Liberty up by 22 in this final game. Yeah, that's we the game. You're going to see a little bit of gameplay from Steph Curry. If he's actually Man, 2K looks really good in next gen. Man, man, Curry's bullying in the paint, bro. Point guard bullying. Check, uh, try his range, bro. Try his range. Bang. And man, this was an impressive run from Stephen Curry from the worst team into the best team. From the best team to the worst team, that was impressive. And plus, he was a demigod. Uh, but anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and like down below if you like these types of videos. Anyways, guys, peace out.